Welcome back to Spotlight, and we have us a plus one in the building. Not just the plus one. She's amazing. She's a songstress. She's soulful. She's a... Uh... I'm going to let her show you what she <laughs> does in a few minutes. Wifey, right, introduce our soulstress to the building. I got to give her a Coming to the <laughs> stage. Oh, this, this young lady turned plays Wait out. a minute. She's an author too out. now. She's a... Wait. Wait. She's the author too author, now. Author. You ain't not. Actress, singer, songstress, <laughs> probably writer, oh, producer, the everything. <laughs> the one and only Yana. Yana Bobby, yeah. y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the party. Welcome well, to the party. Thank you for having me at the party. You know, I love the party. And the party started and the party finishes it. Yes, and you are. And you invited the right person. Yeah. In the building. Yana yes. is in the building. I have been trying to get Yana on the show probably for about maybe six to eight months now. We finally made it work. Woo. Yeah. You worked the way, though. You look amazing. Yes, girl. Thank yes. You. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining the show. Thank you for being a part of our Spotlight family, Yana. And thank you for being just the amazing woman that you've been. Um, everyone knows, if you don't know, Yana is from the DMV. And she has blossomed and been all over the place, right? And um, Yana, I think you're, you started way back in the day with Listen Band. Is that right? Let's go. Let's take it back. Let's take it back. So I first started singing. I grew up in um, Washington, D.C., Southeast bred, you know, Southeast born. Hey. Um, I started singing no, at First Baptist Church of Marshall Heights right on the hill um, in Southeast. And then um, as time progressed, I just started singing um, in a lot of choruses and choirs. I would always do theater. Um, I remember doing stuff for UDC and my summer jobs and I will always pick music and arts and then um, a go-go is in my blood so you know go-go is our native music it's the thing it's, it's it nothing is. like it and so um, a bunch of uh, kids from Eastern High School me and my brothers, I was the first female to listen. They put a band together, and um, I used to go to Tacoma Station. I used to sing with them every so often, and they was like, yo, why don't you just join the band? And so <laughs> after I joined the band, it was over. We kind of reigned for like seven years in the city, and it yes. was a great time, a good time. I was able to quit my job and just do that and pursue my singing career and all that good stuff. So it's been uphill ever since, you know, and I just, I just thank my brothers for asking me because it helped me with my performance now you know now that i'm performing it i think that groomed me for now so i'm just grateful for my teaching with and, and all the culture that i got from dc because i'm in georgia now, but don't y'all kick me out i'm still i'm still a white okay? oh yeah no you're the home team you're the home team you can so, never get yes. kicked out so we can tell that the quarantine is serving you well so let's talk about some of these projects and um let them know what you have going on because i know you got a lot uh, well, well, be, before we get to that though i mean there's uh -huh. one missing piece the puzzle from way back, and that is the second season of BET Sunday. Do y'all know who the winner was? Wait a minute. How can we press Do that? Know? Wait a minute. Do y'all know who the winner was? I'm talking about <laughs> this young lady you can see her whole face off. Now, when y'all can go back, y'all can know that she deserved it, she won it, and she's been winning ever since. She's been winning ever since. Yeah. Yes, wow. Okay. 2009, I actually mustered up, up enough nerves to go get in that line at BET. I remember when BET was over there on Broad Island Avenue. Yep. Yes, girl. I stood in that line. And um, it was a long process, but I'm glad I stayed through it. It was actually a two day process. And then I went on to come to Atlanta to tape once I got the go ahead, the, the yellow slip to say that I, you know, was uh, a contestant on the show. And, um, you know, that experience is just one, you know, everybody see the glitz and the glitz, but it was very much so hard work. Like, wow. you don't know behind the scenes, they can change a song within an instant. Oh, and you have to learn that song on the spot and then present it to an audience without you even living and sitting with the song. So, I mean, it was wow. a good thing because it, it helped me again to be prepared for um, this time. Like, you just never know. You can get an impromptu call to sing something and then you have to be ready. So it's good to be ready than to get ready. You know? I know that's so right. That experience was really, really good and I came out on top. Yes, you did, Sunday girl. Yes, you yes, did. Was you there did. ever, did there come a time though during that competition, y'all, if you can remember, where you said, I, 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 it's in the bag. Like, did you ever feel like I got this or did you feel like you never knew until the end? Um, I didn't feel like I had it in the bag, but once after I sang grandma, I feel like I gained the lives of the 
audience. Yep. Audience inside and then the audience abroad, like outside the network television station, because I just believe that once Kirk Franklin called me back to sing that line again, it was just like, oh, this chick can really blow like outside of no, she just acapella, just blew. Yep. So at that moment, I, I kind of figured like, oh, I can, I can do this. Like I'm in the runnings, but I never was to the point in my mind where I said, oh, I got this. You know, yeah. I was just riding off faith. I was just asking God to continue to give me strength because I was nervous. I was really, really nervous. Um, and, um, you know, once I got down to the last two, I felt like I'm worthy of this. I did feel that. And yeah. so then I was excited when I did, um, when I was at home and we had our watch party and everybody watched, you know, I was excited when they called my name. Then I was like, yeah, I got this in the bag now. Nah. I'm yeah. getting goosebumps because I actually remember. And so I'm getting goosebumps again because I remember when that happened. And I said, that's the song right there. That's it. That is it. Yeah. It's, it's about to be over. And it really wow. was. And so I have been so happy. And and I have been like a Yana groupie ever since. And of course, I'm from the DMV. So I've been to see you, see Yana do her thing on stage with Listen Band. Just all over. I mean, I, you have just been an amazing, glowing person. And I and I know you have bad days, Yana. But I'm every time I've seen you do an interview, um, red carpet, anything I've seen, it's always been the same Good glowing yep. Yana. Like yeah. always. Always. And I do have bad days, and a lot of people ask me that, but I find joy in um, what I'm doing. This right here, and I just say, you know, if you're any type, if you're in any type of field with um, public relations or just in the public eye, period, it's almost like you know. When you go to your job, you got to set your home stuff aside in order for you to perform your job well. Yep. So I just feel like, you know, whatever I have going on, because I pretty much, I mean, I get sad sometimes, you know, I get in my thoughts sometimes, I get frustrated sometimes or disappointed sometimes. I'm human, so I get these feelings. But when I come in front of the people and I'm talking, you ask me questions and I'm engaging, um, it just lets me, I mean, you know, at that moment, I just sit all of that stuff aside and I deal with it, you know, after um, I'm done doing what I'm supposed to do. So yes, I always try to keep a smile on my face. I'm always trying to encourage somebody because the state of world that we in now, even before, mm. but even right now, um, specifically, like we just all need love. We all need encouragement. We all need those smiles. And if I can give it to someone to make their day, then that's just what I'm going to do. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a beautiful That situation. is a beautiful yeah. thing. Yeah. So before I know we get ready to uh, wrap it up in a few, but I just wanted to ask you, who is that one person that has inspired you to become the great singer that you are? And then two, what artist do you pop in when you're going to take that long ride? What would it be? Who would it be that you want to listen oh, wow. to? So who is that artist that inspired me? My family, first and foremost, inspired me. Um, a lot of them have been in the um, the music industry. My uncle was the late great Reverend Julius Cheeks. My um, other uncle is Glenn Jones. We've only oh, just begun. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's She's my, a Glenn Jones he actually, yes. <laughs> yes, she's a groupie. He, yes. he married my aunt Genovia Jeter. So they would be my immediate inspiration. But my, my second two uh, none, I want to put her at numero uno, I mean, numero uno, that would be Aretha Franklin. Woo! I love that lady so much. Not just her music, but just the way she entered into gospel, then she entered into jazz and R&B and blues. There was nothing that that lady could not sing. Yeah. So I kind of modeled myself after her. And plus, because I come from the church, knowing that her father was a minister, and he pushed her to sing R&B. You know, back in the day, it was frowned upon if you come from the church and you sing R&B. It was always like you going to hell. But now, I just feel like you know, people have gotten past tradition and gotten past religion and they see that music is music and yep. it's a means to bring people together. And I always say music is the one thing that I lose myself in, but yet find myself no matter what it is. I can lose myself in the music, but yet I find myself in the lyrics because lyrics really uplift you. So Aretha Franklin would be the second. Yeah. Okay. So, so then, my family, you're, you're, then I read the Franklin. Now, who do I pop in when I'm on a long ride? Because I listen to music while I'm on a long ride. I will pop in Brandy. Mm. I will pop in Aretha. I like old stuff like Anita. Like, oh, God, Frankie Beverly and May. Yeah. Some of the new school cats like Khaled, like Lucky Day. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Soulful music. <laughs> You know, all the, all the yeah, good stuff. So the good cool. R&B, Joe. You know Joe. So it's all it's all of that. Yeah, it's all of that. so you like a lot of that neo-soul grit. That grit. I like all of that soul yeah. singing. Like, don't give me none of that computerized. That's soul. 
you know, auto tune songs. Because yeah, when you get up on stage, I, hey, what you doing? I mean, you're not even hitting the notes that I heard you record. So I want, I like singer singers because I come from singer singers. So I love to hear singers sing. And she's yeah. a singer well, singer. A singer. Remember, singer, we saw yeah. her at Blues Alley singing. <laughs> uh, the most recent time that we saw Yana was at Blues Alley, up close and personal. She did the Aretha Franklin tribute, and I. It was Let amazing. me tell you something. That's when I knew news. That's when I was <laughs> like, oh, you oh, late. Y'all were there. Thank you for supporting me. Thank of you. course, of course. But when I tell you, we we, we rode home and we were just talking about how your voice is so amazing. Wow. Like we was just like, wow. wow. And then Terry was like, and I was in a play with her. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What, was yeah. That, that, what was the name of that play? Confessions for? of a Side Chick. Confessions so. of a Side Remember? That's right. <laughs> it was good. That's yeah. right. Shout out to that Lavelle. Was, that yeah. Was, yeah. Shout out to DC Bra Black, Black Broadway, Broadway and Lavelle yeah. Long. Black that was Broadway. fun. Shout out to Lavelle. Yeah. yeah. yeah for sure. That was up. a fun time. That was a fun time. All right, well, we got to talk about really quickly your new single, um, I believe, uh, Reasons. And we need to talk about this book because I, I know about it, and but I want everyone else to know about what you got going on now, Yana, because um, you got some amazing stuff out right now. Thank you. So um, I wrote a book last October. It's called Pieces of Me, Pieced Together by You. And it's a devotional memoir about my life. I'm sorry. I keep doing that. Somebody's texting me. I should have put on. <laughs> so, um, it's okay. It's um, okay. And um, um, it's really, really good because it's a 21 day. Um, it's actually it's storyline. Then it's prayer. Then it gives my little yaya moments, the, the moments that I have when I'm sitting, I'm pondering, and I want to speak and say something to encourage um, young women and men. So I think it's really, really good. A lot of people said they found themselves in my writings because I'm talking about a lot of stuff that I have not talked about. And, and, and the, the, thing, the thing I wanted to do was I wanted to go back to the little girl in me because the little girl in me was still in me as a, as a big girl, you know, as a grown woman. And sometimes we have to go back and attack those those things that traumatized us when we were younger because if we don't then we carry them over into our uh, older age and we like well, why do we act like this why would he do this so they do that i'm triggered and i get angry or i get upset that's because we need healing somewhere so yes. um i just believe in my writings um i healed from my writings and i want somebody else to heal so it's a 21 day devotional memoir about my life then my new single that is our reasons Oh, the yeah. song, I love it. Yes. Um, it's just basically talking about um, God gives me the reason to smile again. You know, I can sit and I can, I can ponder, I can talk to him. But, you know, after I'm done, it's just like, okay, I, it's almost feel like I'm renewed. I'm rejuvenated. And he gives me that reason to smile again. And only he can do that. And only yes. his real love wins. So that's what the lyrics of the song says. You can go to my website. I got some other stuff. I am now coming up with my own, look at me, my own body yes. butter. I actually have it. I make it. It's shea butter. Oh, butter shit. For your skin. Okay. Yeah. Yes, ah. yes. And it's really, really popping. Like some people are really latching on it. And sales are doing good. Look, this COVID has made me dig in my trick bag. I know it's that's like, right. Hey, so you've you been coming out revenue. with some tricks. Yes. So I have men scent and I have female scent. I also have men beard oil and I'm in the process of making some hair oil for women because, you know, I'm a licensed cosmetologist. So I'm doing all my research and all that stuff for hair growth and, you know, strengthening the hair, the elasticity and all I that love good stuff. It. So I got all that stuff. I have T-shirts and everything and I'm coming out with a new fashion piece soon and i will be releasing that soon i don't want to say what it is but i'm getting on a call tomorrow to do the final touches on it Ooh. so you know what i'm just trying to exhaust or exude everything that god has inside of me that's i'm just, so that's proud just, of you yeah, what's yeah, that awesome. website where we can get all that good stuff on there what is it my website is www.imianacrawley.com y-a-n-n-a-c-r-a-w-l-e-y Dot com. You can book me through there. Um, you can go in there, um, backslash shop. You can look at the um, the store that's on there. And I got some of my writings on there also because yes. I write poetry and little uh, excerpts and all that good stuff. So you can learn me through that also. <laughs> well, we well, we love you, Yana, so much. Love and you um, too. I, um, I don't, you know, I don't have any other words to say other than you're amazing. You know you that. You are very much so amazing. So what I want to know is we don't really believe that you have a single out. So we wanted to know <laughs> if you could just sing us out of here with a little smidgen. Cause Dad said he don't we believe just was waiting on a reason. And I think <laughs> the name was a reason. So oh, that was the reason. Yeah, I just needed a reason. 
So I just gave you a reason. So I was wondering, was you a real singer? You know, I mean, people, say he don't believe you. Some Donna. people might not have heard you yet. So we want to know if you can give them a little. No, no the single said, you gave me a reason to smile again. Only you can do that. Only real love wins. You made me believe that we could fly. That's why I'm giving my all for the rest of my life. I'm running to you. Yeah, yeah. Chasing after you. I don't care where I gotta go. No, no, no. Whatever you say, I'll follow your lead. Cause you're all I never need. That's it. <laughs> yeah. I love her. Appreciate that. When you coming back to the DMV? When you coming home? I'm actually coming home next week. You I'm are? I'm actually coming home next week to see my family and things, so I'll be there for a week. So. Are you going to just yep. be chilling, or are you going to do something like where we can come and, and, and see you? Or uh, You got any work? Uh -huh. I don't have anything planned, so okay. if y'all want me to come in, that'll be cool. I can rock out with you, be a co-host, whatever. That's oh, right. That'll be perfect. And not only that, come past the crib and get some crabs, and we're going to bust it down. How about that? Oh, no, I do that. I love crab. So okay. I'm gonna hold y'all to that. So Terry, text me your I address. Will. I'm coming one day. I got yeah, you, boo. Got you. I got you, y'all. All right, y'all right. give it up one more time. Woo!